Hello there folks, welcome back to another video. The streamer showdown kicks off this weekend. We've already drafted our teams, but the league and knockout action starts today. And hopefully you'll listen to this video, find out what it is maybe, or at least be introduced to my team and uh, yeah, come and get involved with us. It's uh, it's gonna be a fun time. So what is the streamer showdown? If you're sitting there wondering, it's where nine streamers face off against one another to be crowned the streamer showdown champion. Uh, we've had a, a pool of players to pick from uh, and then we we face off in a league format that then becomes a knockout format. Uh, the bottom two in the league go to the elimination playoff and only one makes it through to face the top seed in the knockout stages on the Sunday. Uh, both things happen and kick off at 7 o'clock at GMT time, so UK time, um, and that's where we, we, we get involved into the action. Alongside that, starting slightly earlier both days, at sort of half past six-ish, uh, we have The Lowdown, which is a sort of soccer Saturday-esque show um, that I think you would really enjoy. If you want to keep abreast of all the action, I know a lot of people watch like this, their favourite streamer, alongside The Lowdown. Uh, there'll be links to both. Uh, it's on the FM Streamer Showdown channel, and of course I'll be playing my games uh, over on Twitter as well it's going to be a really good time and uh, i'm going to be doing a lot more videos on it it's a tournament that i put on I, I organize and make sure that everything works together in tandem um and if that introduction there hasn't you know got your juices flowing maybe this one will and then we'll come back and talk about the team oh my god no way he's done it again, it again. three three So yes, that is uh, the action. Oh, it's good. Do, do you feel ready now, viewers? Do you feel ready for all of this? I hope so. Um, yeah, that is the, the lowdown intro that we've created recently. Production values this season have got up uh, a lot. And as you've seen, we are sponsored by KFC, the chicken people, viewers. Yes, the, the real chicken people. Um, so let's go through my team. Let's talk through it then. And uh, yeah, let's see who I managed to draft from the pool that we had. So then, so then, welcome to uh, Dr. Benji HQ. Uh, there's a couple of injuries in there that you've got, you've got to, uh, have to ignore. Uh, ben Me will be fit. All players the start fit. Um, there's lots of different rules uh, to the streamer showdown. Lots of rules that I think are best explained via the lowdown. I'll sort of, of course talk you through a few. Um, so what was the pool to draft from? It was the top five leagues in Europe. So you know the classics. The Glory Hunter 5 if you're familiar. Uh, England, Italy, Spain, Germany and France. That's right. So we've got some players from PSG, some players from the top clubs as well as some of the lesser clubs and you'll see that throughout the sides. That you see. I've got some Arsenal players for example viewers. Uh, just a joke. Everyone relax. Uh, so you can see that's the team I've selected. 500 million. A squad of 18 had to be chosen and um our first pick went for Lionel Messi and was very very happy with that in fact let me get a graphic up I'll show you which order I drafted my boys so you can see I'm slap bang in the middle you can see my other competitors that you've been introduced to uh via the intro Messi was first pick at around 90 million so a big but like almost a fifth of the budget went early but it's Messi. Do you know what I mean? Like Messi is very, 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 very good. At uh, eight twenties uh, to kick the game off. Like I, I've, I've picked the best player in the world, in my opinion. Even at thirty-three, and of course, are playing over the course of like a three-month period uh, within a, a custom database. For those that are wondering how you play the streamer showdown, we created it from scratch and had to had to figure it out. We draft in draft mode, then we bring it into a network game style uh, situation. And Messi then, and we will start with him, and, he, and there's a reason for it, and, and you can see why, right? Look at him there, thirty-three years of age, still the best player in the world. Eight. 20s Messi's got um not, not like I don't know about you I don't manage Barcelona very often so not a player I get to manage that often either um but I'm going to play him in that central role he is going to be the heartbeat to everything that I do and everyone is going to sort of revolve around him the idea was really that if the players either side of him or maybe even in front of him aren't necessarily 
of amazing quality, he will elevate them to be that little bit better, is the hopes and dreams of, of this side. The messy machine, this tactics, uh, tactics called. I've got a few different like styles I could play. I could switch to a diamond quite easily. I could play a 4 4 two. I could play two up top. Like there's, there's, there's lots of options for me. I could play, I could sort of put Messi alongside Cavani if needs be. But with a player of this quality, as I say, it revolves around them. If you bring up the list again of, of players I drafted, then uh, we went Cavani, Skriniar, Kante, uh, Tierney, or Drizola. We sort of we got our full backs set. I had a big plan for this. If you follow my streams, of course, you'll know um, what the plan was. I, I budgeted in certain areas, but I made sure that my core, my central core, was really, really good. Cavani used to be thirty million, is now fifteen million on this year's draft, opposed to last season. We've done eight of these before, if you, if you weren't aware. Um, we're on to season one of FM Twenty One now. Um, so Ob Black. Screenier de Vries, uh, the fridge, as I've called him in saves before. Kante Pogba, those French duos working together, or the, or the French duo, hopefully going to be the key to everything. Those, I'm thinking those direct balls forward from Pogba to the likes of Pepe, Costa, Messi, Cavani, like going to be really, really good. And um, don't sleep on Cavani, though. I've used Cavani in streamer showdowns before. Um, he has the goal record in streamer showdowns of 14 goals over the course of the league and the, uh, the knockout system. So... I'm expecting big things from Edison. 33 years of age, those two. Um, Kante and Pogba, like, again, not man not players I manage at the start of the game very often, but the quality these boys have got. Different players, but really, really good. Uh, Pepe and Douglas Costa, I, I went for purely for their pace. Ex acceleration, really, really good. The dribbling ability of both as well is insane. Costa, not quite as quick these days, as you'll see here. But um, I say I say not quite as quick at these days. Still very, very quick. Uh, 18 dribbling, 19 first touch. Still absolutely rapid. He used to be quicker in previous versions. Um, and there's some quick boys in this tournament, don't get me wrong. Adam Atroy has been picked. Mbappe has been picked. Salah, Mane are all in there. So, um, yeah, we, we're sort of going with a very similar theme. Uh, Ultra Zola at right back. A really solid right back. And again, has got that pace to hopefully keep him up with some of the quicker attackers. Uh, Kiratini on the other side. Similarly, acceleration and pace. Really, really good. It's not just... It sounds very FIFA for all of this, doesn't it? Yeah, very good defender as well. Great tackling, great crossing in forward areas. And I mentioned the back two, like the fridge and uh, Skriniar. Skriniar was 27 million in this draft, which is a very, very good value defender. And the bench isn't too bad either. Like, I'm not even mentioning Mason Greenwood, who on this year's football manager starts off better than he has in previous years. Looks really, really good, in my opinion. I'm hoping to see some really great things from him. Um, Paqueta, Philippe Anderson. You, you kind of have to pick players that you know are going to be able to cover in case of injuries or suspensions. Um, you get a suspension for every three yellow cards and then it sort of doubles up as it goes. So if you get six, he gets a two-match suspension. Three, uh, sorry, nine yellow cards, a, a three-match suspension, things like that. So you've got to be careful. It's a squad game. Um, because we're sponsored by KFC, we do the option of using a lemon wipe, which means that if you use the lemon wipe, it will wipe the injuries from your team or those suspensions there's nothing you can do about those they carry on to the knockout stages and that's where the squad game comes in which means it's going to be a fantastic battle i mentioned in the show and then you can see they're the, they're the, the teams we're up against there's some really solid teams out there the season preview we've got Messi in that um and our black as well so we've got a couple of players in there one at one end one at the other and uh you can see the, the quality of players that exist in the other sides. Uh, a lot of the guys are making videos on it, and of course, we'll be streaming live as well. So do go and check uh, out what they've been up to, and hopefully, you'll join me live. As I say, this is going to be over the weekend uh, at seven o'clock both days. I would love for you to come and support it. Uh, it's the first one of the se season. You may have never watched Online Football Manager, you may have never watched a stream before. This is the sort of thing I would love for you to come and get involved in. I'm trying to get more people into draft mode. As I say, we did eight of these last year, KFC sponsored one last year, and are back for this season. It's growing as an event, and I would love my YouTube audience to come and be a part of it. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping you will. Well, you watching this now will give it uh, come and give it a chance. Uh, whether you watch me, the lowdown, or any of the guys involved, you may well find yourself watching some new people, which again is fantastic for me. I, I love seeing this community grow. Um, and look, it's going to be great fun. I've got lots planned. Um, I've got lots planned to, to to make it as entertaining as possible, and at the same time. I've never won one. I was keeping that detail to quite quite near the end. I've never won one of these tournaments. This is one I would really like to win. And uh, if you don't think that these tournaments matter, talk to Zealand. Talk to Z. Uh, talk to what to show about them. These matter not just for the bragging rights of us, but the bragging rights it feels like of our audiences. And um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've got some systems. I've got some plans. I won't reveal everything, but squad wise, I'm pretty happy. And again, I brought the squad up before. Like you can see, some sides very, very strong out there. Some good teams. Um, but I think our starting 11 is the best in the tournament. Our squad, maybe not. Lelujo particularly has a really good squad. Zealand's got some really good players. But um, 
yeah, it's going to be problematic. And Clates, who's a, an up and coming streamer and YouTuber, has got a, an amazing front line. It's going to be good fun. Like, I hope you'll join me for it. Um, as I say, we've got all sorts of, of, of different scenes. I, I'm, just show them one of the scenes, Ben. Um, for different league and knockout things now, we've got these sorts of situations. So you can watch sort of information as it comes in, as well as us, of course, playing at the same time. Uh, there's my fixture list. I kick things off and it's work the space. So, of course, uh, a, a long time rival of mine. Um, again, I can't say much more about it. Link in the description to come watch and be involved. I'll be doing a recap video about the streamer showdown. Hopefully, it's a how I won the streamer showdown video. Uh, alternatively, it's uh, why I got eliminated. And I'm going to sort of dissect that a little bit. Online Football Manager is very different to offline Football Manager. As we have found throughout the seasons of doing this, things do not operate in the same way. Set pieces are massive. And uh, yeah, I'm hopeful I'll get the win. 7 o'clock tonight then, kicks off on my channel. Do tune in. Uh, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch to be notified as it happens. And hopefully I will see you there. Um, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, and they're at the end of every month, in case you're wondering as well. The last weekend of every month, they, these happen now uh, for the rest of the year. So, I'll again, I hope you'll come and join me. Hope you'll come support me and expect me to bottle it. We love with care. We'll see you until next time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Come on. I've got to win this time. It's got to happen, viewers. It's got to happen.